So what do you do if you want to make a fancy game board, but you're not very good at drawing? Pull up a chair and join me for another crafting video as I show you how to solve that problem here at the Raven's Table. So believe it or not, I'm actually not very good at drawing. But over time I wanted to make some fancier game boards with some nice artwork on them, not just a grid on a piece of wood or uh, paper. So how do you solve that problem? Well, I found a couple of things that helped me out greatly, and I hope it'll help you out as well if you, like me, aren't very good at drawing. They're really not that, that expensive, and they work really, really well. So let's get into another crafting video. So what I'm going to show you today is how to use a projector to increase the quality of your artwork. This is the one that I use most often. It's called an Easy Tracer. Um, I think I got it for like maybe 20 bucks at a craft store. Uh, the way it works is you, it's kind of like one of those old school projectors that if you were in school a lot ways back that would display something on the wall. Same, same idea here. You put your artwork underneath it right here. It's got a light bulb inside and it projects the artwork out the front here. Um, you can adjust the focal length by adjusting this little, uh, I don't know what you call it, lens. And uh, works really well. Um, there are different types of things. There are, are there's a slightly larger version, this one right here. Um, I recommend that you not get these ones because they're meant for projecting things onto a larger, like if you wanted to create a mural or something like that. So this one's probably a little bit too big for you. But uh, you could also use a purely digital projector like this one that you can hook up to your computer or plug a USB uh, stick in the back or a memory card. Um, any one of these things, well basically the idea here is, is it projects the artwork onto whatever it is you're going to be creating your board on, piece of wood, paper, cloth, whatever it happens to be. And then from there, you can just kind of trace the artwork being displayed on your, your medium. Just trace it out with a pencil or a pen. And then when you're done, you've got the artwork right there on your, on your soon-to-be game board. So really nice and easy. So let me show you an example of how this works. All right, so here's the rig we're gonna be using today. I've got the projector suspended on this dowel rod between two stacks of milk crates to keep it up in the air. I know it's really, really high tech. When we're ready to actually start drawing, I will be taking this and pointing it straight down so that way it's aimed straight at the piece of wood that we'll be drawing on today. So nothing too fancy, but it does work. I've used it plenty of times before, so let's get ready to draw. Okay, so we've got our image loaded into the projector and it's it's currently turned on. You just can't see because I've got the lights turned on. Um, so we are ready to, to start drawing at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the light off and you can see we are going to draw the uh, Raven's Table logo here today. So let's get to it. Got a little mechanical pencil here. Probably the, the, I like the nice fine point. You can always go darker, it's, you just can't go lighter, right? So from here, let's go. Now it's obviously of critical importance that as you're doing this, you don't allow the medium on, on which you're drawing to move because if you do you're going to mess up your lines and you'll have to you know everything may be it'll be hard to get realigned afterwards so just be real careful to make sure that you don't uh, move in this case the piece of wood that i'm drawing on And if you need to uh, turn the light on every once in a while just to kind of check how things are going, you know, feel free to do so. Okay, so you can see the, the lines are starting to come through there. So we're, we're looking pretty good at this point. stop and check here again real quick yep we're still looking pretty good there All right. All right that should be it let's check 
Yep, indeed. Let's get this one line clean up a little bit more. And there we go. One design. All done by hand using a projector. So, I think that turned out pretty well. You have a pretty good drawing here. It took very little time at all. I hope you found this tip useful. This technique's worked for me for a long time and it really helps me feel better about some of the art that I create. So be sure to stay subscribed for more videos on gaming history as well as more crafting videos like this one. So until next time, I wish you luck and look forward to seeing you again at the Raven's Table.